Okay. <laughs> I, she, are you okay? I know I, I, I don't have a ring here with me, but I just, you see that proposal that I, I wanted to do? I'll still do it to show you that I don't care. No matter how you look, be a cripple, I don't care. Okay? I'm just using this as a symbol of my love. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get you a better ring after now. Hello, my lovely people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jen. If this is the first time that you're laying your eyes on this beauty, Thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing when you are done. And my return subscriber mwah, from me to you. I love you. So today, hey, Tio, Tio has done it again. Tio, my love, has done it again. Tio, Tio, where is Tio finding all this extraordinary love? Hey, God have mercy. Tio just found this uh, army man. If not, it's because of Tio, eh? What I would have said about this army people when she said, eh, we got so busy, the job got tough. Got so busy where? Did you guys go to some busy forest? But I will not mess this video up. Where did you get busy? But get busy where? They have been there, that thing on your... They, why you are not working did it happen in the office it cannot be at work because none of you are working but that's not why we are here i am just here to uh, uh, show you guys this love eh, that tio has has found in his channel tio found this woman tio brought it to this man and this man show oh my god you guys need to watch this if you don't watch it this is what love is all about Love is not silver and gold. Love is not money. Love is not a car. Love is not home. Love, when you love somebody, when they are standing, when they are sitting, love them too. Because you never know tomorrow. This man loved this guy so much. I watched one from Zitachi that gave a woman 22 million diamond. Still, when he came back, he was treated like, a, like he got plagued. He was slapped. He was pushed. But this girl came on a wheelchair. Oh, my God. This girl came on a wheelchair. This man went and found iron. You know, the, the iron that he used to tighten something. Uh, uh, this iron benders used. He went and found the pieces on a place, on the ground, looking for, running around like a madman, looking for something. When the girl said, I am here to release you. you do, I'm not here for you to marry me. I know I told you that. Oh my God, Jesus. He found iron. He bent the iron and he put it on the girl's hand and said, would you marry me? <sighs> Watch it yourself. Maybe one or two persons will learn what love is all about. Love is not what you can get from that marriage. That's not what love is. This man remembered how he, they said them. They asked the man, "Why did you wait for her all this time? Why? Because the girl said he was about to propose, but before whatever, whatever, and she left, and she never called back. She never even returned the uh, uh, the the letters that he was writing. According to her, the job got busy until she got a uh, shot or something like that that is making her be on a wheelchair." This man said, it does not matter where you are, whether you're lying down, whether you're sitting down, whether you're standing up. I love you for who you are. Go and find something and put it in her. I said, don't worry. I will. He said, I waited because she promised me that she will be back. So I waited. It does not matter how long she will be back because I took her for her words. That's why I waited. Watch the video. Enjoy yourself. Maybe one or two persons will know what love really is. From me to you. Thank you so much. For no see they be, you know, see they go. I did here with Zainab, na military officer, and um, although she don't tell me everything, but I said uh, like what I told you, I told her to also face the camera, tell the audience everything. Be the year from her, you know. So Zena, please 
I want you to tell the audience everything you told me. You know, when she when she when she chatted me up and she was like, I'm a soldier, blah blah. I was like, I beg you, I don't know, I hallow, I don't even myself. But well, like, too, don't worry, don't worry. This is my life. This is my story, and um, I want you to cover, be the one to cover everything. And you are feel free to post it on your platform. So that's why we are here. So Zina, please tell them what you told me. Thank you. My name is Zainab Mohammed. I'm a combat medic and I want to tell my story. I'm a soldier and a passionate one at that. And as soon as I signed up for the job, I held it up and I pursued it with all my heart. I never knew I was going to fall in love. Well, as a soldier, people feel we are tough. We're always strong and wicked. <laughs> like we don't have soft spots. But then I fell in love eventually with this nice, young, hardworking and handsome man who has been quite understanding. And our relationship blossomed and it was so serious. I could see that he was wanting to propose. I remember that day I visited him and I saw him getting on his knees, mm. trying to say some words and he was about to propose. But before then, I had gotten a call-up letter to go for a duty for six months. I knew it was going to be difficult for us to stay apart mm. for that long. So it was difficult for me to tell him that. I couldn't tell him. But when I saw that he was going to propose, I had to open up. I told him that I'll be traveling any moment from, from now. He was disappointed. He was broken. Even though it wasn't going to take so much time, I was just going for six months. But six months was a long time into our relationship. So I had to convince him that it was just for six months. And he understood. That's how kind and lovely he is. So we bid ourselves farewell when it was time for me to travel. And as expected, after six months, I'll come back. But on duty, somehow I got shot in the leg. Prior to that, he's been sending messages, letters. At first, I was responding, but... I couldn't again. When the job got tougher, I couldn't respond. <sighs> Six months passed. I didn't return. The work got tedious. And I got shot. I still didn't return. Time was going. Got to one year. No word from him, and I didn't send any word to him. But now that I'm off duty, I'd like to go back to him. I know he hasn't forgotten about me. I mean, we loved ourselves. I know he still loves me, but I'm not going back to him 
to ask him to marry me or take me back again. I'm just going back to tell him to move on with his life. It's, it's going to be a tough one. But with the way I am, with the way I am, he has to move on with his life. I need to go show him how I am now and... What does he do? He's a teacher. Okay, so um, you know, you know, you know where you know the school where he teaches. I do, except he doesn't work there anymore. But I know. Okay, let's go. Maybe, hopefully, when we we'll get there, if he doesn't work there anymore, we we'll have somebody that will tell us where he's working now. So, <sighs> um, Zainab, we don't hear your story. Okay, so. He will take us there, the school where he's working, and let, hopefully we'll see him and sure. tell him everything, okay? Sure. Thank you very much. Can you have a go? Yes. Is he the one? Ah, yes. Hello, are you Mr. Richard? Say now. What happened? I've been calling, writing you, no response. What happened? And why are you on the wheelchair? I know, I'm so sorry. It wasn't my fault. Listen, listen, Richie. The work got tougher. At a point, I couldn't reply to any of your letters. I'm not here for you to take me back. I don't want you to take me back. Please. Just go on with your life. I know I valued my job so well that I ignored your emotions and your sacrifices. But this is how it turned out to be. I can't even move. I can't walk. I can't be with you again. <laughs> I'm just here to say thank you for everything. I'm so sorry for wasting your time. I'm so sorry for putting you through all that. Listen, I don't hate you. And I know you don't hate me. Just move on with your life. Find someone that will love you value you, build that family we always dreamt of building together. Zena, why? I can't. I can't. <laughs> Been waiting for you all this while. <laughs> There's no life without you, Zena. I can't. I love you. No matter what. No matter what, I love you. Okay? We can't be together. Says who? Says who? Look at me. Your look does not matter. Your look doesn't matter to me. Wait. 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 What is it? What do you look for? I thought you did it for that. Yeah. I 
Afana, talk to me now, guy. What's the apple? Okay. See. I, Are you okay? I know I I I don't have a ring here with me, but I just you see that proposal that I I wanted to do, I'll still do it. To show you that I don't care. No matter how you look, be a cripple, I don't care. Okay? I'm just using this as a symbol of my love. Don't worry, I'll get you a better ring after now. Please. Zena, please. I don't care how you look. Your look does not matter. What matters is that I love you. Okay? I just want to know if you still love me. Yes, I love you. I love you, Rich. Will you marry me? Yes. Which of the hand is this? No, is this one? Yes. This one. Don't oh worry, I'll get goodness. you a better ring later. I'll get you a better ring of later. Yes, you will. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. This is crazy, man. See, I keep, I keep saying it, and I will keep on saying it. Love is pain. Pain is love. Right here, within that you see right now, not true love. <sighs> Richard. Richard, I know you've missed her so much. I know. You know, when she told me everything, she didn't say, man, you're not going to even accept. She just came here to, like, tell you to move on. To move on with your life. Because she, she feel like you're not going to accept her anymore, the way she's looking. You know, and everything. There is no way I will move on without her. No way. I've been calling. I've been writing. At the point, she even gave me one of her friend's number. I would call that one. She would not also pick. I don't know what's going on. No post from her on WhatsApp, on Facebook. There was nobody I could actually talk to. What would be that thing will make you still wait for her? You were, you were still having hope that one day, because if not some men, therefore don't move on. But what's that thing that was holding you down? That one day she's going to show up. Even without hearing from her. I took her for her words. She said she would come back. That was what she said. So I was waiting. I would have actually been here with the ring. She said I should keep the ring. That definitely she will come back and accept that ring. But I just, I just kept the ring at home. And I knew that one day she would come back. To me, to me, this is the most precious, the most expensive, priceless ring one could ever get to me this is this ring is everything and Zainab even when it gets you a better ring a good ring always keep this ring I will sure there's more to go <laughs> Baba you can stop I'm going man you guys can yeah. reminisce Eddie let's go man yeah. I don't do my work hope, <laughs> hope I'll be able to post it on my page, on my page. of course sure sir <laughs> there's more to go